Optic, how is it going? Pretty good. Nice, 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 nice. Let me um, let me adjust the volume real quick. All right, say something. Okay, that should be good. Should be good. Um, and then I'll turn on screen share. Ha! Can you see my screen on Discord? Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. So, fiber optic. Is this? Are you uh in the networking industry? Uh, I am. Yeah, I'm a network engineer. It's actually really interesting because um, that I saw someone else. One of my other students. His name was like Fine Spline. And uh, that's like a reference to some like animation stuff. So I was like, wait, are you like an animator? And he's like, oh, yeah, I, I work with that stuff. So it's really interesting how people nice. name themselves after um, the work they do. But anyways, um, let's talk about uh, your OPGG. So uh, I guess you play mostly Twitch and Misfortune. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then that's, that's, that's pretty much it, right? Nice. Um, yeah. Tell me about your gameplay in terms of like, you know, what do you think you're good at? What do you think you might need to work on? And then anything else you'd like me to know so, before we start watching? Yes. Um, you know, with the caveat that, you know, this is all compared to the average Gold 4 player. I think mm -hmm. I, I team fight pretty decently. Uh, my farm has never really been a problem unless I'm getting like raffle stomped. But, uh, yeah, as let's see what else. Uh, I think I think my macro is pretty decent for gold four player. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm not good at staying alive though. Oh, oh, oh interesting, interesting. We can definitely at least uh, as of recently. That's my specialty, so uh, we'll definitely be able to see what's going on um, with that for sure. Because uh, do notice that there are like a lot of uh, uh, a lot of deaths in these games, right? Right. So okay, okay. Let's take a look. So have you seen? Um, do you do you know which one you want to look at first? Um, I... let's start out with the uh, misfortune game because I feel like my issues are a little bit greater there. Because like people in people in gold often aren't good at catching twitch when uh, they try to collapse them. <coughs> uh, the, the classic. I can kind of cheese my way out of the problem there. <laughs> and, and it, cheese uh, my way out of the problem. Indeed. You yeah, just press Q. Yeah, it kind of uh, bites me in the ass. All right, so have you seen my other coaching sessions before, or any of I've my other coaching seen videos? A lot of the older ones, uh, a couple of the recent ones, but not too many. All right, cool. So you know that uh, I kind of, in terms of expectations, we're looking to uh, build a find find like a good habit for you to build in order to help you get better, right? Um, yeah. And that'll that'll help you uh, that'll help you give you focus in these games. What is this guy doing? Oh yeah, that guy was. Uh, what is he doing? I don't know if he was autofilled, but he didn't really understand like a lot of things. <laughs> That's a uh, interesting way to put it. But uh, okay, you guys get level two. Um, how's your laning, by the way? I don't think we discussed laning at all. Oh yeah, uh, so I'd say laning is probably an area where it gets me killed. Like I used to back in probably like high silver. I didn't have much of a problem with laning. But then once I got into gold, it was like, all right, this is requiring my full attention. And, you know, interesting. Really as as I used to. interesting. And I, yeah, I feel like that's one of the reasons why uh, I'm dying more often is because my map awareness is no longer what it what it used to be when I can kind of autopilot a lot of things. Right, right, right. So um, we pause here and we say, have we done what we're supposed to do in lane so far? What do you think? Um, I think part of it, yes. Like, I think I'm poking pretty well. I'm getting hit by more damage than I would like to, though. Uh, right. We have no HP, right? And yeah. then, you know, it's like, uh, if Lee Sin's here, oh, we kind of get done out here, right? So, I right. think we've lost a lot of HP where we kind of shouldn't have. So, let's take a look at what's going on here, right? So, mm -hmm. um, okay, sure, get hit by the button, whatever. Uh, can't be all lucky. You just got into lane, but... Uh, is there? Are we doing anything? Are we doing anything that's kind of uh, not what we're supposed to do? What do you think? Um, I think I am considering where Alistar is in this example. I think I'm a little too forward, maybe. Um, there's not really that many minions to say block an incoming bind. And I know she started bind since so I already got hit by it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So these are all good ideas. Um, did I ever mention in the uh, coaching videos you watched uh, anything about like lane matchups or anything like that? 
Yeah, yeah, and like win conditions. Right, all right. So if I said we have already lost lane, why would I say that? Um, because our win condition is to have a CS disparity over them, since otherwise they can just all in us on the catch. Uh, I don't know about CS CS difference. Oh, sorry, I said CS. I meant health. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, sure, having more HP on the enemy uh, is always going to be good, right? And mm, in terms of results, that's kind of what we want to see. So how come how come we didn't get that from level one? Because you know I think we have less health than him right now, right? Right. I get hit by a bind at level one. True, but I don't think and it made. Let's see. Uh, I didn't do any damage back to Vayne. I canceled an auto there. Uh, so let's say if I said you guys hit each other here, you're still losing, even if you hit them, even if it don't cancel. Why is that? Right, right. right. Why? Why would that be? Um, what ability did Vayne just use? Well, Vayne used her tumble, but doesn't my uh? Oh yeah, maybe because I thought with love tap, my first auto would do more damage than that. Is that right uh, in terms of when we talk about like uh how much damage you have the fact the passives are never going to be as strong as your active abilities right unless you're right. like you know five hit kaiso passive or some shit i don't know pretty so, much that's the only exception so, so I w uh, what i should have done was like auto queue or something like that all right but why can't we auto queue in this picture uh, oh, it's on cooldown. Yeah, it's on cooldown. So, um, one of the big things that is always important for laning is making sure that when you want to do something, you have all the tools you can possibly have. So, let's say, for example, um, you have all your abilities. That's kind of obvious, right? But there's right. one thing that most players miss is that, what about your support? Does he have all of his, his abilities? And the answer is usually no, right? How many times have right. you seen, like... Your, their support misses hook and they still go in. It's like, oh, that's 100% losing because right. you guys are already missing something. This is the same thing in terms of uh, instead of our supports missing something, our, we ourselves are missing something. So you, you literally can never win this, right? right? There's literally no way. And, and it's clear that there was no way, right? Even though you got the Q off, she already got her Q off. And <laughs> it's basically you're either going even or losing, right? So... Right. Well, I mean, anyway, I mean, she tumbles in to eat like a million minion damage. So, I mean, you, guys, you win that one for sure, but... <clears throat> The, the one of the big ideas we're seeing so far is uh, if you want to do something right you want to hit her you want to pressure her you want to poke her whatever you need your your queue up right otherwise it's right. uh generally considered a mistake to uh trade with no kind of reason behind the trade right um yeah well, yeah level two you recognize that you're winning so this is really good you just run it down okay sure you get hit by bind but i think since you guys are level two it's still winning uh and then you really want to get something extra here but i think it's still fine because Vayne had such low HP, um, but things are kind of dicey just because we lost so much HP in the beginning, right? Um, now, okay, let's say instead of just uh, making sure we have our abilities up, what else should you be doing in lane? Because um, this comes up right here. Hmm. So, like, in, in terms of matchups, let's talk about matchups. Right. Right, so, uh, you know, I guess we'll, throw, we'll, we'll ask some st stupid questions, but just to make sure we're all on the same page, um, what does Morgana want to do? How does Morgana wants, win lane? She wants to poke with her pool and hit binds. Right. Landing binds, and if she misses, she's donezo, right? Can't do anything. Right. Uh, what about Alistar? Uh, he wants to land a combo. Right. Basically, we want to all in them, right? Yeah. And then uh, on a lesser scale, so we, we know that on a, on a, the, the main point is that we're going to try and all in them, they're going to try and bind us, and we kind of stop there. Right. And then right. things we can do, you know, because you're playing Misfortune, what is something you can do, I guess? Um, land crit Q bounces. Right. So we're just trying to poke them. Right. right. Um, so if you do anything other than poke or all in, that's how we know it's probably a mistake. Right. right. Um, so even though you guys are trying to all in here, how come you can't catch this guy? Um, too far back. Right, so we don't go. We shouldn't follow up. Right, we should just let them uh, do whatever. Um, yeah, that's the that's the big idea. And the reason why we have no HP is because, you know, did we do something outside of what we just said? Yeah. It's right. Like an extended trade. Uh, right. Exactly. So that's yeah. that's perfect. Right. You want to do that like ten right. times in a row, and then you want. <laughs> Use our carbon stacks. Uh, right. Right. Exactly. Uh, so basically, playing outside the matchup is 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 probably why you're having a harder time at this level than in silver for example right, right. um that's kind of like right here what are you what are you trying to do right here oh i'm just trying to get the stack uh, true you didn't have bind so 
but yeah, if he hits you here, uh, uh, actually, actually, I mean, you have heal too, but uh, sure. With the stack, I would have enough damage to just quickly like Q auto vein and kill her if she tried to all in me. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. And the only reason this works is because she doesn't have heal, right? But if she did have heal, this could be uh super dicey. I think like uh, it could be a, a bad habit. Oh my god, what the hell? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's watch this. Yeah, we we die there. So what happened in this picture? Um, the engage was, yeah. Honest, honestly, I, I don't really know because like that's that's the guy that I do it with semi regularly, and he didn't mention anything about it in voice. So he was just like, "Oh, I'm going, I'm going." But I kind of freaked out and just <laughs> went in on something I shouldn't have. The classic, right? Okay, so this is the classic of uh, they find something good. Yes. But it's only good if you know it's going coming out beforehand, right? right. So uh, one of the things that's always hardest to implement as a player is to not pull the trigger on something that you don't know is good, right? Right. So let's say you went for this combo, okay, and then you didn't you didn't follow up. Is this a fine result? I mean, if I didn't follow up on it, right? If you didn't follow up on better it, better than both of us dying, which is I think what happens. Right. Um, it'll be fine. You guys traded flash. Right, it's not like the end of the world, right? But if you try and follow up on something that kind of doesn't make sense, or you weren't ready for it, so you're gonna miss the opportunity, uh, what's gonna happen pretty much every time is uh, it's either a not gonna work, so you just get you're just building a bad habit, right? Or b it's gonna work and you have no idea how to you have no idea how to make it work better, so it's still a bad habit, right? True. Um, so how do we make sure that stuff like this, you know, if we want to improve on our follow up potential, what do we need to do? What do you think? Um, I guess have a plan to follow up on engages if my support wants to do flash engages like that. Right, perfect. Right, so we're just like you have to you have to read what your support is doing. Right, you know, have you, right. I'm sure you're familiar with the idea. Oh, what is Morgana gonna do? She's gonna bind you. Right, it's the same with right. your support. Is what is my support gonna do? Um, and then if he does this, you do this. Right, kind of like uh, right. an if statement in coding. <laughs> um, yeah. that's that's kind of the idea. But you know, this is just like uh. We, we weren't ready, which is why this doesn't work, right? right. Um, so yeah, it's just like, oh. It's very sad now. I'm sure everyone's yeah. like, oh, he gets away! Oh, yeah. no, that's so sad. All right, so yeah, so far, it's just about um, ideas of lane matchups, right? Plus, uh, not trying to do something without your abilities up, and also uh, making sure that our follow-up is clean, Right, True. like when we want, like our follow up should be based on what we know before it happens, instead of like reactionary. Like, how have you seen this before? Let's say, um, let's say Ash arrows someone on the other team, right? And then she arrows someone important. She arrows like the AD carry, and then Oriana five man ulties you guys, or Malfi five man ulties you guys, or something like that, right? Uh, that's like the very common, you know. Oh, we caught someone, so we have to go, and then everyone just dies, which is actually what we just saw, right? You don't have to follow up on everything. I saw you fall, try and follow up on that combo before too. It was too far away. And if you had right. known, if you had prepared that kind of idea beforehand, you would have known, I can't go on this. Right? You don't go on something unless it's so good, your instincts override like your logic or you prepared it beforehand. Right? True. So is this something I should th be thinking about before game then? Uh, in the moment so like uh right before it happens you say oh we have combo up so what am i going to do if he combos what would you do right right now like this this is kind of our time because nothing else is going on all right so uh if he like for example for that combo if if i was expecting it i probably would have played more up so because um not necessarily it'd be like you'd be ready to flash q immediately or something like that or maybe you would make sure you're in range but i mean i mean like here in this right. picture right now oh here um I would probably just move forward and start hitting the AD carry if I was able to do that without eating a bind. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, and then you would know that, you know, how far are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Are you gonna all in or like what's the plan here? Uh, we'd probably go for some some nice damage and then get out before uh, Vayne can get a uh, third hit W proc. Right, something like uh. Uh, like my plan would be something like, oh, after combo, we're gonna auto attack Q and back off, right? Because right. Shit, Morgana's just gonna black shield, and then you know you guys should be happy with the damage you did, right? So that yeah. would be a, like your yeah. pre preset plan. You know it works a hundred percent of the time. You do it every time. You're good to go, right? Um, most players, you know, it's kind of 
do whatever and then it's like oh the result either is good or bad but you know <laughs> i don't know it doesn't, it doesn't make sense right it's not it's not repeatable in, in terms right. of um you see the same thing in a different situation and then you do the same thing uh you might not get the result you want right but oh speaking of which he went for a combo <clears throat> oh baby nice cue but there's nothing else going on here so like we said, we had to back off immediately after you throw the queue because there's no way for us to uh, keep going, right? Right. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, what is your what is Alistair doing? Did you see? Um, I don't quite remember actually. So are we Seems doing like anything? We are we doing anything here that's kind of? Um... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Does Morgana have flash? Well, I... even if she didn't have flash, like right here. What are we trying to do right now? What do you think um, in this picture? Trying to push the wave. Mm, well, you already pushed. What do you? What are you? Your mouse movement telling us right now? I'm walking towards them, trying to land a cube. Right. So, um, sure, misfortune can can win trades, but like, uh, I think I think we you should you should make sure that your your trying matchup to idea. One. Right, that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of trying to TV one as well. But even if this is just against Vayne, um, you could have some problems in terms of we're trying to trade and we don't necessarily want to trade. Right. right. But I, I do think that uh, Misfortune does win trades against Vayne. But um, if this is a different champion like Varus and you do the same thing, it's not good, right? You need to make right. sure that uh, when you're doing this, you know that against any matchup, you want to poke with your Q bounces. Right. Right. And uh, anyone else, you need to make sure that you want to trade before you do this, right? Um, I think you just have a habit of you want to hit someone. That's it. Yeah, that's it. I think you, I think I think I think you have a habit of you know you can hit someone you kind of want to do it. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. not always the kind of correct. Uh, right. It's not always gonna have a good outcome, right? I think so, I think with misfortune that's definitely true because uh, right, right. You know, be, before I I started playing misfortune, I was like pretty much a Twitch one trick. Uh -huh. And I was, yeah, I guess that, that experience of like, you know, playing against early game 80 carries and the thought that like, in order to win, win this lane, all I have to do is just not die, uh, kind of makes me really focused on making sure the enemy loses a lot of CS and stuff. Right. And then honestly, trying to do more than you are physically able to do in the matchup is always is actually always going to have the uh, the downside of doing the opposite of what you want. Right. Because now it seems like uh, she can farm for free in a sense because we lost too much HP trying to make something happen. Right. right. So it's, more, it's, it's about being very clear on what we can do and doing it every time instead of trying to uh, eke out random hits, I think, is, is, is uh, could be a goal for us here. Wait. Oh, what the? Yeah, he tumbled took into tower. Shots. Interesting, interesting. I mean, you have no HP, so maybe it's good. Who knows? Um, oh, this is this is uh, Maka S. So yeah, basically, we have kind of no control over the lane because we keep trying to do something that is outside our matchup. Right? I don't want to say trading is outside our matchup because um, I do think Misfortune Auto Attack Q beats Vein Tumble Q. But uh, sometimes when you wanted to trade, you just didn't have your ability. Right. right. Oh my lord, what is this? Is this working? This should work. Oh, maybe. Uh, he didn't hit his stun. Alright, nice try, I guess. Sure. Um, and then... Uh, what's going on here? Ari starts rotating, I think. Well, we still see her mid, right? Actually, let's talk about this. So she after... Crash away, though. After you uh, do something... All right after something's done, what what do right. you want to do with this wave? Is always the next. Push question. it to tower. Okay, right. Uh, and then the next question is, can you do it without dying? Yeah. Um, probably. I think it it depends on whether or not brand stays. Perhaps. Right. I mean, if you say no, then it's completely fine to base here. It's just making sure that. We okay. know exactly what's good. Exactly, you know, that's what you want. Can you do it? No, then, then you don't do it, right? So I think that's fine. Yeah, I, I think uh, Brand's missing ping or uh, danger pings made me think that Ari was rotating when she actually was just hitting tower. Right, right, right. But you also, yeah, it, it's 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 like uh, I think it's fine in this case. It's not something to worry about. So right. 
So, hmm. Okay. It's just, uh, you know, the reason why I'm always kind of, the reason why I'm kind of like, uh, uh, looking at this, this, this picture here is because, you know, I did think Misfortune wants to trade against Vayne, but, you know, what's going on in this picture that tells me otherwise? <laughs> um... Did we hard win that trade? Is the reason you, for trading you have to always win? I don't think we hard won it. No. Right. So it seems it seems like we don't really. It seems like Misfortune is really not a trading champion, right? You just want to poke them with cues, and uh, uh, yeah, that's about it, right? Um, because w w we're having this issue where uh, if you can hit them, you're gonna try and do it, and then it's not always gonna be good. Right. Um, so I think you when you when you lane as this champion, sure you should uh, think about matchup and you know we have all in versus catch and stuff like that. But on a more on a more like uh, focused on your your own champion level, uh, we need to make sure that we're only looking for Q bounces. Unless it's so free, like she tumbles into your minions, that you can do whatever, right? But uh, I think that's like if there's anything that's kind of um, uh, holding you back in lane, it's kind of this idea, right? Because we just have no HP. Like, uh, right. the reason why this is important is because if Alistair goes in, uh, you'll get to the point where you don't have enough HP for you to follow up. Okay. Right. Any questions, by the way, as we're watching this? Um, yeah, actually, about, uh, so you said that basically the only time I should be hitting them is with Q bounces. Uh, would you say that a normal Q bounce is, is, uh, like, you know, decent value for the ability or yeah, i would say is is fine value unless you're like okay. so weak it, unless you're so weak or something i i would think i would assume that that is always going to be good value and of course executing a minion would be the best right right but something for something for relative free is 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 Ooh, really good i think there. i oh. could have uh, hit one of those minions and gotten a juicy crit they did good overall. So notice, you know, what's there's a it's basically night and day between what was happening before and what's happening now. And then, you know, can you spot the difference, right? Yeah. Like, uh, what do we do in this picture? Oh, that was a fat Q bounce, right? Yeah. So basically, playing playing towards our champion strength is what's going to win you the lane, right? Um, over anything yeah. else, really. You get a nice trade. Right. So you see what's going on here. Sure, sure, sure. Also, think you might want to consider Doran Shield as well when you're against. Uh... Oh my God! <laughs> go. uh... Yeah, we gotta fucking watch this one. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Right, so you know, that's the only thing you should really be aiming for. Yeah. Right. Is 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 kind of what we're seeing here. Um, and all right, yeah. So this is this is what I think. So to make to put it in most basic terms matchup you want to play only inside your matchup until you do, can do it perfectly every time right so when we say inside your matchup we mean uh you say okay what does my matchup want to do we want to poke with misfortune and all in with alistar you do nothing else you don't do anything else right besides those two things right unless it's literally so free or your jungler is here so you have more people right something something along those lines but in 2v2 situation doing something other than that is resulting in a loss essentially which is what we, we we've been seeing the whole time right and right. then uh, you look at what they want to do and say, oh, she wants to catch us with bind, and uh, Vayne wants to catch us with an E or all in, right? So you uh -huh. say, oh, okay, uh, do we want to all in? Probably not. We just focus on uh, Q bounces, and we're happy, right? So no trading, no all in. Uh, you can There's no catch on your team, so you're just looking for Q bounces. This is how you know how to play the matchup out. Oh, we're so fucked here. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace. All right, let's watch this. So what happened here? Uh, we got ganked since we didn't have vision and we were pushing. Mm, I think there's more to it than that, right? Um, we were being a little bit more aggressive than I think we really had a right to be. Right, and then uh, the kind of idea here is uh, if you have flash up, you can push without dying, right? Right. Usually speaking. So in this case, why did we die even though we had flash up? Because Morgana also had flash and ult. Right. Did we do anything that kind of uh, let's say you knew Lee Sin is here? Would you do right. anything? Would you do anything different here than what you're seeing right now? Wait for yeah, it, right, I, right here. Yes. 
I'd start walking back right about there. Right. We wouldn't kind of walk to her. Yeah, I see that she's walking up at us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We want to keep our distance. You always have to assume the gank is coming, right? Right. So here, her flash ulti is pretty good, so kind of done so, right? Um, not much she can do. Wow, that was a really nice spell show. Look at this. Oh. That was clean. Um, but yeah, I think if there are uh laning proms it's it's definitely you, you're right in terms of you die a lot right because uh right. dying in lane is really going to impact the game um uh, in terms of oh their jungler is strong they're going to go kill everyone or whoever roamed is strong or their bot lane's winning now so it's kind of awkward right so i think right. the hope fix this is um the two things is just straight up basic matchup i'm serious like literally do nothing like if you watch me play I don't care what rank I'm at. I do the exact same thing. What I'm saying right now, right? It does not matter what rank I'm at. I'm playing against gold players. They do the same thing, right? Play only within the matchup, uh, unless it's super free. Yeah, that was unfortunate. We can talk about this too. But what happened here? Uh, in a bind. Two things, right? So Walk how many people? Minions. Right. How many? Right. So that's the first one, and then I guess the second one could be like, even if this is two v two, this is still bad. Why? Uh, because they have a lot of minions on us, and I am within range of all of them. Right. Uh, okay, that's actually true. That's another reason. Um, but we're also are we using our uh, uh, matchup uh, correctly? Are we utilizing utilizing? Right. Exactly. So yes, the reason why I'm like, oh, misfortune can actually trade is because maybe you can do something spicy with dark harvest and stuff, right? But I think it's just so right. inconsistent. We're seeing that it's just not working. We should not do it for now. I think you need to fix other things first. So, okay. um, dial this back. But, like, uh, yeah, I can do that with Q bounces anyway. So I should really just be doing that in the first place. Exactly, way. exactly. That was a feels bad. You almost had the auto attack there. Um, yeah. Yeah, basically, most of your mistakes just come from straight lane lane matchup. Okay. And then, okay, the gank one will give you the benefit of the doubt because that's a really nice gank, right? Um, right? But you should always assume they're coming. Oh, what's going on? Jax is doing uh, dragon. Sure, we're pushing. I think this is good. You wanna? Oh, okay. We're gonna help this. This is uh, this is Monka S. Oh wait, Volibear is here. Never mind. Wow, that was a really nice ulti. But uh, is there anything you should do before you cast ulti? <laughs> uh, use E. Yeah, yeah. You already know, so I don't really have to tell you, right? Yeah. You play me a lot of misfortune, but uh, yeah, this is a, you had a good look. Not doing that. This is a good look. I like it. And then you can say like, oh, even though you didn't kill anyone, why did I say this is good? Because they all have to back. Well, well better than that. How much? How much? How much damage did you do? <laughs> a lot. Holy shit! Did you get like fifteen hundred damage? Right? They they all have to base or if something. If I used e, I probably would have killed someone. All right? Might might could have uh, pumped out some more, but honestly, you had a good look there, so we're not gonna nitpick. I think. Um, is very much the idea of uh, uh, fix the mistakes of um, trying to trying to kind of hit someone without. Using your Q, right? right? Sure. Hitting tower, sure. They all died. Push this out. I think this is fine. Oh, what is going on here? This is not good. What's going on here? Uh, we are trying to take their blue buff. Right. So, is there anything wrong with this picture? Um, let's see. Well, uh, Vayne responds in seven seconds. Morgana respond and is probably a little past the inhib tower. So they have more people than we do, essentially. Right, they just have more people. You guys are getting fucked like pretty quick. And even if it's equal, I think Good. that um, being this deep in and Ari walks over. Okay, so let's say Ari starts walking. How how can Brand stop her? Um, you pretty much can't. All right, I mean, even if he flashes, you can't do anything, right? So uh, yeah, I mean, she can just gonna, Ari's stun. Yeah, she's gonna walk up and then you're gonna die. So that's the problem here is that um. We're trying to do something, but it doesn't make sense. And the reason why it doesn't make sense is because uh, is there a counterplay? You just told me what the counterplay was. They have more people, right? So yeah. that's how we know it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, it works out, but it shouldn't really work out. And it actually doesn't really work out, right? People are, people are dying. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That, right, so people are dying here. So, okay, so the question is always, oh, what should we do instead, right? So you take this tower. Right. What do you do now? Um... We either back or gank mid, I think. Uh, okay, if you gank mid, what are oh, the chances have, no, you no. kill Ari? Pretty much zero. Right, zero. So that's how you know that you don't want to do that thing. We, the, right. the decision you want to make should be good and always works. 
or 90% of the time works. Sometimes always isn't really uh, true. So 90% of the time so it works. Maybe we either back or take the next wave. Okay. I would say basing is great. I mean, it's always going to work, right? And right. you have nothing else to do. Taking the next wave, can they stop you? Oh, I think Vane's dead. So seems good to yeah, me, not really. right? So that's how you know that uh, you want to do these options and not blue because we know that they can stop us at blue, right? Or gank mid because it's not going to work, right? It's right. kind of the, the logical idea behind this, right? Um, it's just 90, 90, like uh, not even 90% of the time, like 100% of the time, this is always going to end up being bad unless like the AFK or something. I don't know. Right. <laughs> you would have to get like DC or something for this to, to, to go well. So, <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Sure, we go bot. I think this is good. Uh, da, 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 da. sure push this out okay okay Alistair is here so and you see Van and Morg push this out so once you push this out what are you uh, planning to do next uh, I think rotate mid to match their bot lane okay I think that's a fine idea you can even uh, keep pushing if you really want to you can go top you have a lot of options here honestly yeah, I but mean, in this case I wanted my first item I think that's fine this is, this is good the, the, the main idea is that um, you're pushing past the river, right? So have you heard that concept before? Oh, yeah. If you push push a side wave out past mid wave, it's like you're basically, you know, dead in the water. Wait. For them. Or Say that again? The, the idea that, like, if you're, if you're pushing beyond the, the where the mid wave is, then you're overextended. I think I um, that. I wouldn't say that's necessarily true. I was referring to the idea that uh, pushing your minions past this middle point is, generally speaking, good oh, okay. for maximum CS. Why is that? Oh, because it will bounce back to you. Right, right, right. So this is how yeah. this. Is, if you wonder how people get 10 CS a minute, this is how they do it, which is exactly right. what you're doing. This is good. Yeah. Right. Um, it's always about the the question of uh, if are you losing minions if you leave this lane. So actually, in this picture, you would want to push another one, but um, I think we did good enough. So the general idea is push it past the river. It will work. Most of the time. Uh, no, okay. The reason for pushing another wave, is that because they're they're committing to this tower mid and they're not nope. going to be able to respond? So let's say you look at this and you say, are you losing minions when the next wave meets? What do you think? Um, yeah, probably a few. Yeah, I would say you're losing the whole wave, right? So, right. Uh, and then the question is, can you prevent that? So can you push this out okay. without dying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I can respond. Yeah, I say I say so they're mid, right? So uh, we're good to go. You can shove this out ASAP and then run, All right. right? So that's the idea. But honestly, if you can do this, you don't really need to know this part yet. This is like my level when I'm like, oh, I need to push an extra wave because we have some weird wave. We gotta fix the wave. It doesn't matter. Um, for you, for for most players, honestly, <laughs> some players in Challenger don't even know this. So uh, it's not really it's not really something you need to focus on. As long as you're pushing it past the river, we're doing good. Wow, that was hot. Good stuff. Okay, run mid, kill everyone. I think that's fine. Okay, you're gonna push this tower because they all died. Sure. Once you kill this tower, what are you gonna do next? Because this is your time to figure that out. Um, let's see. Maybe go top. Mm -hmm. I would agree 100%. Uh, but it looks like Jax is going. So, um, maybe. Oh, someone's dying here. Yeah. I think. Yeah, all right. Now you guys. Now you guys back off. Oh. Getting those juicy stacks. Uh oh. So what are you doing here? That's kind of Monka S. <laughs> um, I guess R you could probably R on us. Uh, uh, bigger ideas, bigger ideas. Instead of like a mechanical standpoint, um, think of it as a, this is losing ninety percent of the time. Why? Right. Uh, because Vayne is missing and Lee Sin are missing. Right. Um, if you, uh, the general rule is that, uh, hitting tower is losing. Right. Because uh, how many times have you seen this? I mean, I mean, you know, I asked this question, but I already know the answer. Uh, let's say one team groups up, hits the tower, they all die. How many times do you see this a day? Um, a lot. Right. So actually, it just happened, right? So what's going on in this picture? What's going um, on in this picture? They <laughs> did it to us. Yeah. <laughs> right. So that's what, that's exactly what they're doing to you guys. So how do we know this is losing? Oh, uh, they're not ready for uh, every way you guys can engage successfully. Right. That's the only time you can hit tower is if you're ready to beat all of their engages. Not just one way to engage, like Jax jumping in. All of them, right. like Alistair coming in from behind and a TP, and you you coming in from the front. Right. So the reason why it never works in solo queue is this reason. 
right? Uh, the only exception is something like, uh, have you ever played against like Zig Zareth Lux on the same team or some oh, stupid yeah. shit like that? Yeah, that's the only exception. It's so free, you just throw shit at them until you right. hit them, right? That's the only time you can like siege like that. But uh, yeah, this is why this is why it doesn't work, right? This picture here. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's pretty much never going to work, right? Um, so yeah, uh, that's exactly what you guys are doing here. This is the general rule of hitting tower, right? Um, mm. So we know that uh, this essentially doesn't work, right? The only time you hit tower is this. Why does this work? Because uh, everyone is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah, that's 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 the rule I go by. They're all dead. Okay, we can do this, right? Um, but here they're not dead. Okay, you can't do this. That's how we know this is a this is a mistake, right? Like uh, by the time you get to this point, how many times have you been TP'd on from behind or assassin comes in from the side, right? Rengar, Kha'Zix, Talon, oh, yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter, dude. Katarina, yeah. oh, fucking, I can spit out all these mid laners, junglers, and top laners. It's all the same, right? right? Even a Malphite just walking up to you from a TP is kind of disgusting, right? You can't yeah. get away. So that's how we know. I know. I remember in this case, I specifically just wanted to get that to like use that dark harvest stack on the tower. Um, let's see. Let's back it up. Is that is that still overextending to just go? Yeah, out of? I wouldn't even go for that because uh, let's say you did this and she ulties mm -hmm. you, and then oh, right. you know, I think she's either boosted and you're gonna kill her, or her whole team is coming and you're gonna die, right? So, right. Uh, and I think you try to get more than that. I don't know. It's just it, it's never worth, in my opinion, right? Um, mm -hmm. At least at this level, you going for tower damage is never worth. Like, what's more likely to happen? You siege down enough towers that you break the inhibitor tower, or one team dies and everyone gets barren. All right. Right. I've never Makes seen sense. the former. Literally, never seen the former in the last three years. Right. Um, yeah. It's just one team dies, everyone goes goes to barren, and then that's how you win the game. Right. Um, or one team dies and you run down mid and then kill kill all the towers because they're all dead. So that's the big idea. All right, let's talk about this. Let's see what's going on here. So after you push this wave out, what do you want to do here? Because we know now that now that we know hitting tower is um, not good, what are you gonna do after you push this wave? Um, probably go bot. Right, I would agree 100. percent Right, you're gonna go bot here, um, and then you know. Okay, maybe this is a free catch. So staying here is fine. Oh, this is awkward, but. Should be okay. And then here, what do we do? <laughs> um, push out the next one since everyone is here. Right, right. But uh, at some point, you know, uh, we kind of need to go bot, which is... Uh, right. Plus uh, dragons yeah. coming up soon. Right. And even though you have more people, hitting towers is a mistake, right? They literally all have to be dead, right? Look, okay. it's, it's very clear. You cannot hit this tower, right? Right. It's very clear. How do we know beforehand? It's just generally speaking, you cannot, right? Okay. So we should have gone bot like a, a long time ago, even after you killed Morgana. Right, because right. oh, you know, Morgana's dead. How do we capitalize on that? You know, dragons right there, for example, right? Or you can take their whole, you can take all their jungle camps, right? But hitting tower is an option after they all die, essentially, or they can't defend for some reason. Right. So yeah, in this in this picture, you just needed to go bot, right? That's your that's your wave, essentially, right? So right. if we say um, every carry needs their own wave, that's top lane, that's mid lane, and that's AD carry, unless mm -hmm. top lane is playing a tank, everyone. Wants their own wave, so or their own lane. So whose lane is this? Here. Brands. Yeah, I would say it's Brands, right? Um, because you're better in a side lane than Brand is, even though Misfortune kind of wants mid. Um, Brand can't really do anything in side lane, so that's your job to go. It's your job to go bot, and then you know Jax is going top or whatever. So. Right. All right. Fight breaks out. Sure. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Okay. That was a fat Q. Nice try on the ulti. Um, looks like this Alawi kills herself, so that uh, seems good. Uh, what are we trying to do here? Hold up. What's this, what's going on here? Um, not quite sure. All right, so this is good. This is good. So this is this is the kind of stuff when you said that you die a lot. This is how you die a lot, right? right. You try and do something, but we're not sure what we're going for, and then fa and you get hit in the face by a charm or something, or. Someone's out of vision, you get hit, right? I don't, I don't know what's going on here, but um, what do you think you should do here after you kill this guy? Um, definitely get that wave bot. Mm, yeah, at this point, someone's got to get it. Or let's say uh, you had already gotten it, you should go mid, right? right. Um, so here's the idea for mid game is uh, you want to push out every single wave, essentially, if you're winning. Oh, like the, <laughs> that was kind of close, but uh, that was a nice dodge. Um, I mean, for but, some reason, I just wanted to like bait it out and dodge it. I don't know if it was some sort of impulse. Right, but uh, it's like, I you mean, know. Yeah, it was, it was dumb regardless. 
<laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't want to say it, but it, it's just, it doesn't make uh, sense. So, like, let's say, um, uh, let's say, have you ever played chess before? Yeah. Right, there's a, like, there's a large play. difference between, like, oh, someone who just knows the rules and is making moves versus someone who's, like, learned the game and be like, oh, we're making this move because uh, we want to develop our pieces, for example, right? So, in this case, it's like, we don't have a reason to do this. We don't have a good reason to this. I don't want to say we don't have a reason. I, don't, I want to say we don't have a good consistent reason why hitting her is good 90% of the time or trying to hit her is good 90% of the time, right? right. Because uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty bad 90% of the time. So uh, you just want to push out the wave because you know that they can't stop you because they one of their one of their guys is dead. So you're good to go. Um, but yeah, no one's getting this bot wave. It's really awkward. Okay, now we got it. Nice. Oh, we're just 200 IQ. We're building up the wave. I think this is fine. It's actually really interesting because um, in your examples, we're seeing uh, uh, this is actually a, a, an interesting strat where you don't actually have to pick this up immediately, right? So I don't know if you can right. see this in terms of YouTube. Uh, I don't know if you can see the map, but look at this picture yeah. here. Are you losing minions bot? Can you see that in the corner, in the bottom right hand corner? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I am losing some. Uh, so when we say losing minions or... Um, not losing minions, we mean uh, which way is the wave pushing? So if you're pushing towards the oh, enemy, oh, you're yeah, losing every single okay. wave, right? No, but he's, if he's it's pushing towards us. Right, so you're not losing, you, quote unquote, losing. We're losing less than they are, so uh, thought, we're not losing anything. Like some, of, some of the wave would die on its way there. Right, yeah, I mean, yeah, some of the wave will die, right? But um, overall, we're winning in terms of gold income if we pick right. it up. So this actually tells us we don't have to go immediately. Right, so uh, mm -hmm. it's very important to recognize that when in doubt, though, if we have we're not really sure what to do, instead of ARAM mid, you should push it out. Right, um, right. that's a general strat. But anyways, let's fast forward back to when we pick this up. Kill this all, kill this all. Oh, this is awkward. So this is an example of you really want to push this out, but you can't. Uh oh, this is how we get one v one. All right, maybe you can push us out without dying. You got Alistair coming. All right, fast, fast, fast. Nice. Yeah, I when I did that, uh, I assumed that they would be coming for me immediately, uh, mm -hmm. and I was just ready to pop Yomu's and get out of there. Right, that's good. That's good. You had a plan for when they come because you have you have no way you can fight. Okay, what is this? This is spicy. Mm -hmm. So if I said this is a good thing here, why would I say that? Um. Could you rewind it a little bit? I think right I, here, I this picture. In terms uh, of, uh, uh, in terms of, uh, oh, we have, we have more people than they do. Okay, that... true. Or Lowy's top, uh, but if Lowy's here, it would still be good. I would say. Hmm. Uh, is it because we have a pushing wave bot? Um. Right. It's a, somewhere somewhere along those lines. They're currently losing minions top. Right. right, and if they don't deal with this bot wave, they're going to be losing minions bot as well. Although yeah. right now you guys are technically losing minions. So um, in terms of gold generation, if you just if you guys just sit here and they sit here and watch you, you're winning. Right, right. <laughs> and then and then someone goes to fix the waves again, and then they do the same thing. You get another like four waves on the enemy team. So uh, right. that's kind of uh, that's kind of like we're in a good spot, right? But mm -hmm. uh, we don't have to force anything, right? Because you guys are technically doing right. really good right now. We just make sure they stay there. Right, exactly. And then, oh, see, look, Jax is pushing it out, so everyone's happy. And no one's picking up bot, so you guys are really happy here. Oh, okay, two people show up bot. What are we doing here? Um, oh, no, what are they doing? Yeah, oh, no. All right, that's sure. disaster. You kind of want to not help this because yeah. you guys are all going to die. All right, let's talk about this. Really shouldn't have. This is actually really common um, at any rank is, look at this. How bad is this on a scale of 1 to 10? Probably, like... Uh, in, ter in terms of like the actual fight or the repercussions? Of what are you seeing right now in half a second? How bad or good? Is this a good dies. fight or a bad fight? Horrible. Or a really bad fight? Horrible fight. Uh, horrible. So you don't help this. This is, this is over. You consider this. This is donezo unless you have a way to win this specifically, right? So okay. um, there are two ideas at work here. One is uh, general ideas of who will win before it happens. All right, so whenever I'm like, oh, it's 4v5, you guys are losing, and then you guys lose. That's that's what I'm talking about, the general idea of most of the time this is going to happen. You guys are losing, right? In this case, this guy is dying for free, right? Relative free. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of the time, you guys are losing. That's the True. idea, right? So 
Does that mean this is always lost? No, because you can sometimes find something like, let's say for example, she tumbles forward and then you ulti her and then she dies, right? Maybe you can turn this, right. but uh, unless you see, yeah, unless you see that first or you have a way to guarantee that, you don't do this, right? right. You have to run, right? And then uh, we try and do it, and then we try and do it without a guarantee, right? So that's how we know you're continuing a really bad fight. So it's gonna get worse in a way, right? right? Because if you stay alive, can they Baron? Mm, no. Right. You just sit near them and then you ulti them, right? right. <laughs> you ulti Perfect. them, they're all gonna die. Uh, but if you die, they're gonna run straight to Baron and it's just PVE, right? They're just gonna play right. Farmville here and then, you know. How do we know everyone's dying? It's because, you know, they died for free, so it's just 4v5, right? Essentially. Right. So you just needed to not, not, don't help something that you can't help, right? How do you know if you can help a fight or not? What do you think? Um, if my presence will mean we win. Uh, yes. So let's say, uh, let's say there's a 4v5 going on and you show up, that's 5v5. You should help, right? Um, and the exception is if someone gets one shot on your team, it's over. You're not, you don't, that's, that's, that's not, that's, there's nothing to be done, right? Uh, mm -hmm. so you don't help that. And then what about if it's a 3v5? Should you help that? Probably not. Right. Cause 4v5 is still losing. You don't want to go. Right. Right. Uh, so in this case, uh, you're like, okay, we should help because, uh, if we show up, it'll be 3v2. And then uh, you take a look, right? When you take a look, you're like, oh, this is horrible, right? So you, you need to run. It's no longer good. So yeah, that's the, that's the general idea. Is making sure you don't continue um, automatically losing fights, I think is the idea. Or right. don't start automatically losing fights, right? Um, so yeah. similar at the blue buff, I think. Uh, I think you're trying to help Volibear do some strange stuff, but that's the same idea, essentially. Oh, what the heck? All right, what's going on here? What's going on with this picture? Um, hmm. So what I should don't you know do? If here? We thought they were on it, on Baron or something. You saw Lee Sin bot, so you ping Baron. Oh. Oh, okay, that's right. Um. I mean, theoretically, since I think we have a better early game than they do, um, we could force a four v five fight at Baron, or just do it. Uh, okay, uh, but if they walk up and just hit you guys, how do you stop that? Especially uh, with Brand dead. <laughs> oh yeah, Brand is dead. I and then on top, I, I think I overlooked that. And then on top of that, who's who's the one who's gonna do damage to Baron? Um, I mean, normally I would say me since I'm the AD carry. Um, this fortune isn't very good at that though. <laughs> So that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This that's, fortune isn't very good. I 100% agree. So they're, like, they're been wonky, like Ginsu's. Right. So when we when we do like um, so Baron call is very similar to a call for taking tower. You have to have some kind of guarantee. Like this has to work 90% of the time. All right. And the reason why I'm like this isn't working 90% of the time is because you know there are a lot of factors. One, you know, you're missing a mid laner, so you know it's not really 4v5. Right. Two, you guys are tanking it, so you already had disadvantage. And three, you can't actually do it. Right. Right. There's, I don't think we can actually do it. Right. They just walk up, and then we're super upset. So, uh, yeah. what should we do here? That's consistent. Um, we should go mid since the wave's pushing towards us. Yes, it's always about clearing and pushing waves. I promise you. Right. Everything that is, <laughs> everything that is your job yeah. in the mid game is clearing and pushing waves. So you know, Alice starts like farming or some shit. That's not the guy who you guys want to get uh, money right. on. Right. Oh, and then, you know, they're yeah, going to check, you know, nine times out of 10, you guys are getting done out here. Right. So fast forward, right. uh, you guys actually lost out because we have no HP. They're going to come in and sweep the river. We got prompts. Right. Um, right. So yeah, that's the idea is how do we know beforehand? Well, we know that we don't have a reason to do it. So it usually does not work is the idea. Right. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, they're doing, they're doing it. <laughs> Hold the phone. Wait, they're all going to die here. All right. You're going to look for a fat E ulti and then. Yeah. Okay, okay. Probably, oh, yeah. here it is. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. oh, I mean, I mean, it wasn't the worst, so. Who thought was there? Uh, it's about all that was there, uh, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. All right. Let's watch what's going on here. So, I don't see anything yet. Do you? Nope. So, you should hold on to it. That's it. Basically, yeah. pulling the trigger too fast, essentially. And then, I mean, you got lucky. <laughs> he flipped Ari. I mean, I don't know what happened, but he, like, flipped someone into it. But uh, yeah. uh, I think that's kind of random, right? Um, yeah. 
I'm gonna get to the second part of the fight. All right, what's what's wrong with this picture here? Um, I am hitting the raid boss. The raid boss, yes. So, uh, are you safe here? No. Right. So you do something like hit and run away. This is your. Uh, this is actually a uh, mechanical idea in terms of um, if you're not sure you're safe, uh, or actually even if you're even if yeah if you're not sure you're safe, you shouldn't hit someone, right? But let's say you are sure you're safe. You should just auto attack and walk back immediately. Have you uh, seen this idea? Yeah, I think I've, I've, I do, I like to do that with MF sometimes, uh, just because she's so fast. Uh, but in right, this right, right. case, I'm not sure if I was trying to do that or I just. That right, the, down. the idea is the reason why you're standing still. Okay, let's talk about this. Why, why are you standing still here? And it's not because you just right clicked her, you did something extra to make you stand still. Um. Are you talking about me channeling ult or uh, right here, that? right there? What what is this? <laughs> uh, using Q. Right. So uh, in this case, if you're not sure you're safe, you shouldn't be um, kind of. I don't want to say self CC because it's not really. That's not really uh, a kind of league term that makes as much sense. But we're standing still because we're casting something. When right. you just wanted to hit and run, because you know that's kind of actually what misfortune does. I think. Right. Right. So in this case, we're kind of just, we kind of, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. So uh, you want to stay safe and right. sure we missed an opportunity on ulti, but I think it was good enough. I mean, they threw out, they started the right. Baron, so it was already so good for you guys that uh, yeah, we you didn't have to do too much. Things. Right, right. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, you guys are still winning this. It's just, um, right, I think we could have done better. Deaths. Right, right, right. No worries though. I think you had the right idea with the ulti. I think you just pulled the trigger too, too quick. So yeah. I think when it comes to holding ult, that's something I need to work on. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want to do this. Do not do this. No, I probably oh, do. Oh, no. <laughs> yep, see? Like I was saying. Oh, no. I have a problem with holding oh, ult. Oh, no. Okay, so. Wow, this is just. They're all dying. Oh, my yeah. God, that auto attack. Oh. <laughs> Man, that was fucking sick, actually, though. Oh, my God. You're going to kill no, them all. Kill them all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go Baron here. Oh, my God. Yeah. You got to bounce. What? <laughs> What? Holy shit. Wait, that's so funny. Uh, wow, okay, nice. So, look what I said, right? How do you uh, win the game? Oh, kill everyone, get Baron. Yep. Oh, actually, I guess we just run it down I, instead. I think we go in Hib and then... That's better than Baron, so... Yeah. We say, uh, why is breaking base better than Baron, usually speaking? It's, it's guaranteed in Hib while uh, Baron is like, potential in Hib. Right, right, right. Uh, and, and another aspect of it is, you know, it's really hard so to break base. Uh, uh oh you don't want to start this do you oh okay they're basing hell yeah you want to start yeah, this yeah they're basing. okay just kill Lee Sin yeah, though sure. oh mother f he's gonna steal it oh nope. my god he missed his smite you know not only him but uh yeah yeah i think i think Lee Sin might have uh calculated his damage as if he oh. can bear in itself jesus christ because uh, it looks like he got really close so in this picture what should you be doing though if you know jungle's trying to steal I should be preparing to follow up in any CC we can get on him, perhaps? Uh, how do you deter the enemy jungler from stealing? Ulting? Right, okay, I would say that's a good response. You can just walk up and start hitting him over the wall, right? right. You want to do anything other than get this Baron low, right? You want to kill his ass first, and then you want to keep doing Baron, right? right. So, um, here, I think everyone's just hitting the fucking Baron, which is really awkward, but... Uh, <laughs> like, if all you guys need to do, everyone just stands here, you guys kill this ward, and then you kill him the instant he gets close enough to Q. Right. And what can he do, right? So, um, that makes this 90% Baron instead of like a random Baron. I don't know what's going on here, but sure. Um, okay, kill this guy. Now you want to run. Sure, sure, sure. Base, run. So I think the biggest ideas we're looking at in terms of your gameplay are uh, what should you do during the mid game? And every time I ask that question, it always ended up being like, oh, we gotta push this wave, we gotta catch this wave, right? right? So that's push the, waves. that's like a bit, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then the second one is laning. I think uh, you're, you're doing really well here, right? Imagine if you came out of lane even or ahead. Yeah. Right. You're just straight uh, smashing. Probably would have 14 assists. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, right, so I think in terms of laning, oh, oh, is this good? Oh, uh, almost. oh this is not good. Oh. Oh, you want to run? Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, you're so <laughs> dead. Oh, wait, Lee Sin didn't do any. Oh, wait, you're still oh, dead. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got hit by that. All right, let's talk I about this too. But um, 
okay, if there are mechanics ideas to work on. Okay, sorry. Let's go back to laning. So for laning, you want to make sure make sure you only play within your matchup only. Don't randomly try and yeah. hit people or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, um, honestly, uh, right there, I, I really just wanted to see if I could one jeweled. Okay, fair. Was, I mean, you're, if you're just testing, I, sure, I, whatever. Yeah, I mean, it was it was actually that. That's it's fine. Like, mean that's fine. Like, oh, I inted. I'm just testing my limits. But <laughs> in that case, it's fine. I mean, I, I think it's good to uh, check to see if you can do it. But uh, now you know, I guess, right? Right. Oh, that was a fat ulti. Wow. Oh, you're dead as fuck. Oh, oh you're still oh, dead yeah, as fuck. Yeah. It's okay. That was good. Still good. Um, but yeah, this game is pretty much over because uh, all you have to do is just five man squad up and then what can they do? Oh, let's watch this actually. We'll watch some of these ulties. Oh! Okay, so another yeah, habit yeah, we yeah. should make. Dude, you just gotta press E first. I don't know what's going on. Right. <laughs> you just gotta. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know this, so. Yeah, um, I have way too many games played on Misfortune without pressing E to the point where it just becomes such a bad habit that mm, really need to make it my focus. Right, for right, right. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if they're if you want to work on mechanics, it's hold you know, E and ulti and hold on to your ulti. That's it for mechanics. Like every, I mean, you're you're doing these fights like good right these fights are fine i think mm -hmm. in terms of how you're playing them out it's just anytime you waste your ulti that's the only time you want to look at it and the only right. fights the fights that you play well mechanically but lose is because it's 4v5 for example right right um so yeah let's watch the next one see what's going on here but okay um, um i i have some questions uh, yeah, yeah like of course specific you know builds matchups stuff like that yeah, yeah um, would now be a good time for that oh yeah yeah of course right. anytime honestly Okay, so um, specifically for Misfortune builds, um, how do you feel about Executioners versus Lord Doms? Uh, Wait a minute. Um, executioners versus Lord Doms? No, oh, not Executioners, sorry. Don't I don't even buy that uh, shit. Black Cleaver. Yeah. Oh, Black I, Cleaver. I, I wrote that as Executioners. For um, I would say it's, reason it's a reasonable item, right? Third, maybe even mm -hmm. second. But, you know, we just look up Misfortune I, and we're yeah, like, I oh. see on pro builds, everyone seems to build. Uh, black cleaver more often i think um honestly if you want to copy dark harvest builds i don't think black cleaver is really a thing you're just trying to one shot people right, right? um yeah true. these dark harvest builds are like oh mm. lethality into like storm razor rapid fire cannon that kind of idea right. um uh like you see here actually <laughs> mm -hmm. lethality yeah, into storm razor rapid fire that's what i end up going if you wanted this comet build i think they do black cleaver right, right. and they spam e and that's the idea behind that um uh -huh. But yeah, for you, honestly, I would probably say don't get Black Cleaver, right? Unless they have like a million tanks or something. I don't know. Um, uh, no, none of these guys are really building it here. So I would say it's not really a, a staple in Misfortune anymore now that the Dark Harvest thing is a, is a thing. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Do I have anything else for Misfortune? Um, oh, yeah. What? So do you think Storm Razor 3rd is... is uh, Decent versus like going Lord Doms. Yeah, I would say that's that's uh, pretty good. Honestly, Lord Doms is probably not bad either, right? Um, right. Lord Doms now shreds through all armor. You know, percent True. percent through all armor. So I think it's fine. It's a fine build. You, honestly, you can't really go wrong. It's just you build these lethality items. You build like Ghost Blade, Dust Blade. You can build whatever the hell you want after that. I think um, mm -hmm. and you're gonna do the same thing, right? Try and one shot people. So. True. Um, I don't think I don't think it's bad. I don't think you have too many bad options like Storm Razor, Rapid, Lord Doms. You buy all of those, and then the next three items you're gonna do good, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think. All right, I think that's those are the questions for now. There's some others that are kind of more general that I feel might be uh -huh. better at the end. Okay. Cool. Um, let's go through this laning phase real quick. What are you supposed to do in this lane now that we um, talked about lane matchups? Just farm, pretty much uh okay this is good let's talk about this again so um when we do when we figure out our lane matchups we uh well i always try and categorize what champion what champions are supposed to do so let's right. say alistair is an all-in champion right uh so he falls under the category of we're gonna we're gonna try and all-in all the time um so other categories are uh in my mind poke catch and trade besides okay. all-in right so right. you know poke is like uh damage that literally cannot be responded too so is that a Q, right? Right. She cues you. You can't hit back. Essentially, that's what we call poke. Uh, something like trade is you guys hit each other, right? But the trade person is gonna win. So Nami, 
That's pretty cancer, right? Have you ever played against Nami? Right. right. She's going to hit you. You're, she, you're always going to lose. So you don't want to do that, right? And then mm -hmm. uh, uh, catch is, you know, the classic Blitzcrank. Skill right. shot CC, right? So poke, catch, trade all in. What is Sona? What do you think? Sona is mostly poke until level six at least. Okay. Uh, is she anything else besides poke? Because I think her poke is relatively poke. weak. Poke and sustain. Mm, so yes. instead of sustain, what is that? Or, or trade? More general, yeah, trade. Because okay. sustain, sustain is is is, uh, you could add like a sustain category, but people who sustain usually want to trade against people who can't sustain. Right. Right. Um. So yeah, I would say Sona wants to trade because it's it's more. I think it's more general than just saying sustain. Um, okay. But anyways, yeah. Uh, you want to trade in this case, and then what is what does Soraka want to do? Soraka wants to hit her Qs and heal her AD care. So what is that in terms of categories? So, so that would also be trade? Uh, if she doesn't take heal, I think most Sorakas don't take heal anymore, right? Yeah. Or does she take heal? I mean, if she takes heal, she wants to trade, but... Yeah. Oh my god, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, he was... Uh, not nice try, nice try. That. Oh, he wants you to heal? Excuse me? Uh... Anyways, um, what does Sarka want to do? Um, See this? Wait, hold up. She didn't do it. She wants to poke? Yeah, she wants to poke. Well, I kind of gave it away, but uh, she's going to try and throw shit at you, right? So right. what does this tell you? You trade and dodge her poke. That's how you play the lane, right? Instead, okay. of, we, instead of saying we want to farm, we want to do whatever, you want to trade. And she wants to poke. So uh, you don't want to get hit. And then after you dodge it, you try and trade, right? And you're good to go. Right, so right. here you know you can walk up and you're winning. Yeah. For example, right? Because um, uh -huh. that's a fat that's a fat trade right there, right? Um, and then you could say something like, "Oh, Twitch and Kaisa. Um, Twitch wants to all in. Kaisa wants to all in. You know, but they're much lesser. They matter a lot less than the supports, right? Uh, case in point, you know, a classic Blitzcrank. His hook is always going to be <laughs> most important skill in the lane, essentially, right? Right. Doesn't matter if you're playing Draven or whatever. Um, you got to land hook or you're losing. So. True. Oh no! What's going on here? Looks like mm -hmm. this. Not really sure. Oh yeah, they just run at us. Oh, and I get hit by those. Wow! Nice heal. Thank you. So. uh what happened here? What do you think? Um, they started walking up to us and we didn't really respond. Why are they winning the all-in here? Because we don't attack them. Uh, if you attack them, you're still losing, right? Um, like, is there anything is about your health bars that tells you? you oh, I have losing? less health. Yeah, you have a lot less health, right? It's not right. like a little bit. It's like significantly missing a lot of health somehow, right? Uh, so what happened here? I don't know. But... Right. Oh, uh, we're taking minions. Ate, ate a bunch of Ws. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we're taking minions, right? So right. Uh, that's kind of the idea there. Is uh, health is always going to be relevant in terms of um, any point of the game, honestly. So oh, what the hell? What's going on here? Oh, oh. yeah, that... free kill, baby. Yeah, not oh, sure. Oh, he mean. got exhausted. Maybe not. That's oh yeah, fine. that literally escapes like every single time. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Oh my lord. All right, let's talk about this. So, what's uh what's going on here? So, basically there's a little bit of a fiesta going on. Um So, in terms of what we talked about today, let's talk about this. The fight Do you want to help this fight? fight? No. Yes. So, you don't want to fight this. And then you see Nidalee 0 HP, right? Right. So, what's the plan? You're going to kill her and run immediately. Right. So that's the we're idea. Ult from like over the wall or something. And then well, we didn't have ulti, but we're gonna we're gonna oh, like walk oh, up and kill her, right? Okay. But uh, and then you know why didn't we? What part of our plan are we missing in the moment, right? We this is the exit plan. Yeah, <laughs> the exit plan. Yeah, we need to get out because this is automatically losing. So we would prefer, honestly, we would prefer to not go in the first place. And the reason being is because what? We did insta died. Right. That's it. We know this is losing, you continue the fight, it's still losing, right? Right. Oh, Riven gets here somehow, so this is interesting. Okay, some kind of fiesta going on. Sure. Fast forward, fast forward. Let's go back to this. Now you guys definitely want to trade because you have a cutlass. You can just lifesteal everything up. 
Oh my lord, what is going on? Fights everywhere. So yeah, here? Yeah, this game was very violent. <laughs> Should you help this fight? Um, you know, the, uh, I can't quite see who's there, to be honest. Uh, one way, one easy trick to do yeah. is see who's on the map, and then everyone who's not on the map is there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, oh, okay, I see, right, yeah, yeah, we win that. Right, so does your number matter? I would say yes, right? Yes. It's four. It's 4v5 right now, you go, it's 5v5, you should go, right, unless you see something disaster, right? So, not quite disaster yet, um, yeah, sure, Udia died, but I think they lost a lot of it, a lot for it, right? So, definitely uh, help this, right? Yeah. So if we help this, should be okay. Should be even at least. So looks like it's pretty even, I would say. Jack dives far too far. Seems good. Seems good. Killing seems him. pretty even, I would say. And then go back to lane. Yeah. Oh my lord, what's going on here? Um. Oh, oh I, Kalasi. I, I, oh. I tried to alter. I think I nice try, got nice try. Oh no. I think that's a nice try, but we're dead as shit. So oh. I didn't, oh. I didn't realize how um I was. You're so fucking dead. Yeah. No, I definitely died here. All right. So what's an example? What is this an example of? Not having an exit plan. Mm, instead of the, um, we'll call this. This is this is very similar to when you ulti on misfortune, right? Right. So uh, this is the idea of um, when you're trying to make a play, uh, and when we when I say play, I mean anything that's not hit the closest guy and being right. safe, right? When you have to when you make a play, it has to work. Otherwise, it's a throw. Right. So if you want to go for this, this has to work. So how do you guarantee that this works? So what I what I uh, was planning to do there was hit her with two, hopefully three hits of ulti and then E and then just uh, stealth away. But right. I didn't realize that I, first of all, it came out too soon because my E wasn't up. But uh, second of all, I was Un. Right. No mana. <laughs> yeah, no mana. Uh, she can also just walk away, which is what she did, right? Yeah. So this is the idea of your plan had to be cleaner. I didn't account for all the options. Right. This is like kind of a fighting idea. Like uh, hold on to your ulti on misfortune until you're 100 percent sure. Right? right. Don't make a play on Twitch until you're 100 percent sure. Right. So there's a play here. Do you know what it is? Um. Probably go on Soraka and use my uh, water. I think Soraka is walking away too. Right. Um, this could be something like. Oh, Nidalee, perhaps? Okay, not not going on this is better than doing it, right? If you're not right. sure. Um, so yeah, uh, Nidalee would be killing as well, or maybe even aiming Zed if, when he comes. But I think the only thing that works here would be flash cut last and auto attack on Kai'Sa, right? Uh, and okay. then, But even then, I would not go for that, right? Yeah, it's I not just didn't want to get within tower range. Right, 90%, 90%, remember, any play we make, anything we do wants to be consistently good. Right, right, so um, it was an even fight. Now it's slightly losing, but not the end of the world. I think you made the right decision to help, and that's the that's the most important part. Okay, right. is making the conscious decision to help because you can do something. Right, um, and making sure you don't help fights that are uh, lost because that's a bad habit. I think um, can't help every fight. Right. Okay, we're going mid because if we go up, there's a numbers advantage. Right. Uh -huh. Seems good. This is winning for sure. Where are the ultis? Oh, the ultis on the top left. Sure. Uh, I think this is okay, only because they're still top. But uh, you're not really getting anything out of this. This is also another reason why hitting tower is kind of strange, is because what are you getting out of hitting this tower? Just a little bit of damage. And what if they push bot? Uh, we're losing minions. Yeah. So it's not. Is it? Is it lo worth losing a wave? Not this much damage. Definitely not. I would say no. Right. Um. Especially in solo queue, definitely not in solo queue. Um, yeah. Do not want to lose minions at all. And then you know, you're lucky that Kaisa kind of like AFK or some shit. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> they were yeah. just not at the wave, right? I don't know what's going on there, but there that's an easy punish by them, I think. So right. Remember, hitting towers like they all gotta be dead, or you know you're getting this for some reason. So even right. here, it's a slight inaccuracy, even though they like all died or can't defend. Oh, can you kill this guy? Yes, you can. I think we can. Yeah. Free kill, nice catch. Uh, this is a this is a maybe. This is a hard maybe. This is you're all dying here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, We're definitely all dying there. run, boys! Don't turn around. This is bad, right? Don't continue a losing fight, right? How do you know this is losing? 
Um, because now they have we were diving, and now they have more numbers than we. Um, right. In a more in a more like instinctive sense, I see this guy die for free. I'm like, this is over. Let's run. Right. right. Unless you see something like fat, like a fat Udi or one shot or the Sona three man ulti. I don't know what it is, but it has right. to be really good for you to want to turn around. So you just wanna you just wanna know. You just want to know, uh, you need to run immediately, I think, but... Uh-huh. Sure, push this out. I think very good, very good. Okay, you can base if you want. I think that's fine. You have an item. Going mid here. Uh, okay. We need to just push out our lanes again. So far, so good. Any questions, by the way? Um... Oh. <laughs> yeah, so when there's three of them mid... Uh, should I, I guess the correct response either way is push the wave, right? Yes, because okay. can they dive mid? What do you think? Can the enemy no. team dive mid? No, they right. can't. Yeah, I don't think so. And if, what happens if they do dive mid and you run, and you run straight? Um, I kill them all. Yeah, yeah, they're all going to die, which is why it, you don't see people just randomly diving mid, right? It doesn't work. Right. Um, so you should be pushing bot. Yes. Uh, here, are you losing mains here? Pause. Um... Uh... See, yes. Agreed. It's pushing towards them. You're losing a wave or more if you go if you do this play right here. So should not. That's how we know we shouldn't do this. It doesn't work. It's not good for you guys unless right. you think you can start a five v four like this somehow and then get everything. But uh, I would say this is not consistent. <laughs> right. Um, right. Like, so yeah. If they just backed off, I think you guys are done. So this guy walked into you guys. So that's kind of strange, but. Yeah, I would definitely say this is not consistent. You want to push out bot, right? Right. This doesn't work. This is not a thing that works. Nine times out of ten. So definitely you wanted to go bot there. But sure, we get something uh -huh. out of it. I think it's fine. Base, sure. As long as we're pushing out waves, I'm happy. You just need to push out pretty much every wave when in doubt. Oh, right. this is this is this looks good. That's a good start. Okay, this is uh so far, all you have to do is continue this fight without suiciding and right. you win because uh, the fight started out good. Remember how we're like, fight starts out bad, it's going to end bad. Fight starts out good, right. it's going to end good, right? Riven's here, so you should be okay, right? It seemed dicey yeah. for a sec because Riven had to walk here. So, right? So you guys win. This is the classic. Yeah. The classic, we know what's going to happen before it happens is, uh, is, the, is the idea. So, so far, so good in these fights. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened with that misfortune game when you went to blue, but maybe that that was an outlier. Or um... it was also, I think, my first game of the day. Mm, I see. I see. Oh, and I guess something else I should mention going with was uh, gold one at the time. So we were playing with people that were a little bit higher ranked than I was. Mm, I see. I see. So okay. I, th I think maybe I don't know if if that was just like me normally being able to get away with that gold five, gold four, or or it was me being like, uh, you know, not thinking straight out of nervousness, I guess. Fair, fair. Well, at least now you know to, to fix that in case it comes up in any rank, right? Right. Uh, what should you do with this picture, though? <laughs> the reason why we keep pausing and asking the same question is so that you can do the same thing in your game to make sure this doesn't right. happen, right? So this is the habit of uh, what should you do right now? What do you think? Look at the map, right? Uh, what should you do right now? Agreed. That's it. Or you should push top because you're losing minions. You gotta catch right. bot because they're about to crash into tower. Or you should push top because you're losing minions. And okay. can you siege mid? They're not dead, so no. no. Right. Um, wait, what happened here? Let's take a look. Um, we actually caught someone here. What? Yeah, I, I. Right. Wait. I just went on Raka, and I think I. Oh, I would have gotten her if I didn't. If I had E, but I didn't have mana. Wait, they're literally like. I'm confused. Yeah, Nidalee even said why. See, he's AFK. What's going on? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, there's really nothing to be found here, right? If they just sit under tower, this is not a thing. But okay, right. I think we get something. But uh, we just we kind of force it. Yeah, that, it's not. I don't think that's good. You need to know why that works. You have to have a reason. Like I have QSS, I have Flash. We're gonna bait out three LTs or something like that, right? right. You need a reason. That there is just no I reason think... there besides them being like standing outside of the tower. Right. Yeah, I, I think I was, I believe that if I could just like kite uh, with like the tip of my ult, uh, Soraka, you know, with as long as uh, I use, 
Bork on her first. Uh, I didn't really have a response though for as many things that I didn't really do a gap closer. Hmm. And the oh. fact that Italy could just do that. Uh. I would say this is like a nice try. I wouldn't worry about this as much, right? Okay. Um, I want you to focus on like, what should you be doing in terms of map movements, right? Right. Like you got to push top, push bot like every time. Okay. Um, that's like the biggest, these are like the biggest ideas that I hope you like straight up win just by having 10 seasons a minute. Right. And then right. it'll cut down on these, like uh, the random fights or plays that are kind of not making any sense. Right. Like this, you know, if something like this happens, you guys are losing Baron, for example. Right. Right. You know how people are always like, hey, don't do Aaron mid. This is how you stop that. It's just, you got to push out this, right? Because, you know, uh -huh. uh, I think this is becoming a problem in these side waves. Um, oh, no, this is a disaster. <laughs> 3v5, everyone run. Oh, they're yeah, fucked. All right. Yeah. This, there's a, there were a couple plays like this uh, that... I think it actually lost us the game. Am I right. Kidding? You guys are losing Baron, right? But yeah. yeah so how does... Uh, so what, what, what lost us Baron? And, well, well, we'll see it eventually. I don't have to spoil right, but, anything. Um, the big idea is, you know, what do we do that causes this to happen? The numbers are very wrong. Right. Well, uh, what do we do, like, right here? How come we can't do anything here? Because we're dead. Because we did that thing mid, right? Yeah. We did that. We did this. We did this strange thing mid. So now you know everyone's losing their minds, and then um, we're not able to help or fix things because right. uh, we're dead. So that's the big idea. Is uh, oh, you're dead as fuck. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. That was a little too hard. Nice try, but this is just uh, this is the classic like three v five. They just have more people, right? right. So if you want to do this, you have to know you kill him, and I think we'll give you the benefit of the doubt here because you got double heal, right? So, right. um, well, you can say this is unlucky, but next time you have to remember that Soraka ulti is a thing, right? Right. Well, I would say that's unlucky, right? That's also not something you want to focus on as much. Just know that the, the main point is that you know you're going into it as a 4v5 and that you can win it for some reason, right? Or as a 3v5 in that case, but whatever. Right. You know what I mean? Um, okay, push this out. Sure. Uh, what should we be doing in this picture? Uh, going bot. Yes, you need to push it out. Always, 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 always. So every time we're kind of doing something else, we know we should have been pushing the wave, right? <laughs> Wait, you actually lost the cannon wave. Oh, no. Um, yeah. Imagine if you had an infinity edge here with a, uh, 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 a what's it called? The brawler's glove? That's like 90% yeah. crit, right? Yeah. 80% crit. Thing. Oh, free kill somehow. What the hell? Uh, also, yeah, I think... She was trying to ward. I caught her. In this, in this picture, do you want to push bot as well? Um... No, I don't. Just Why is that? Baron is up. All right, but we see we see Soraka here, right? Oh yeah, I guess I guess she would definitely be top there trying to set that up. All right, so I'd say you would like to, but you can't until you see where they are. Right. Right. Because you're losing minions if you don't. So uh, here we after we kill her, we're like, oh, we can push bot. Is what I would think. I would be thinking as long as we can beat Zed. Right. Oh no. And oh, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. No way. <laughs> No way to win this one, I think. I think the only way for me to win that to because I, I misclicked one hit of my I think I ought to uh There's literally no way, yeah. right? It's impossible. So uh yeah. in that case it's like <laughs> going back to what you said before, if I had an inf Infinity Edge, maybe, right? I think you're cutting out a little too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's just like a um Wow, this game is going south. I think everyone's getting tilted. I think there needs to be more of a focus on pushing and clearing waves and less about hitting people. Right. right. When you're hitting people, you have to have a reason why you're this is winning. You need right. you literally need a reason why it's winning. Like if you can't reason it out, that's that's how you know you guys are all dying, right? Like for in this case, how do you know this is winning? Um right now? Right. Is this is this winning? Is the is the question, I guess. Um I don't think so, no. Because I think Why? Uh, Udyr is going to die immediately, and then it's going to be a 3v2. You want to think bigger. Always, It's always like the, the fight is won before it is already before it has begun. Oh, we have more dead people than they do? 
Yeah, they're more people. So this is 100% losing, right? Uh, you can't see their extra person. So that's right. how we know it's losing is that uh, even though the extra person didn't end up mattering, the fact that we didn't have a reason to win just is an automatic loss. That's what you should think, okay? If you don't, if it's, if you don't know it's winning, it's an automatic loss because it is, right? Now Nidalee is like getting in here and stuff. There's just no way to win, basically. <laughs> The setup is the most important part about League, right? Is you, you want to put yourself in a spot where you literally cannot lose. Like, you know, tic-tac-toe, the strat where you like, uh, if they have no idea the winning strat, you just do the corners in the middle or some right. shit, and then you yeah. always win. That's what you want to do in League, right? Legit no way for them to win is the, is the, is the way you want to play. Because um, otherwise, you know, every game is going to be a coin flip, right? And we have no idea what's going right. on. So, let's see. Any questions, by the way? I think this we're getting to the uh, end stages of this this replay. Right. Um, about the specific game or in general? No, anything, anything really. Um, yeah. So, I, I understand that uh, for the most parts, the team compositions that Twitch isn't very good at are ones with like a lot of guaranteed CC. Uh, is there what? Because the the two champions I play basically are MF and Twitch, with like mm -hmm. a little bit of Sivir and Kaisa, very rarely. Uh, I'm I'm sort of looking into like when when should when I should specifically I not, not be picking one of the two? Okay, so my idea for picking champs is for lane and for scaling. So let's say okay, your okay. team has too much scaling, you should pick Misfortune instead of okay, Twitch. Okay. Let's say you know your team has okay scaling and you can pick Twitch and not lose lane. I'll pick Twitch, right? Right. I'm like a greedy scaling kind of player, so uh, if I can pick. Like a scaling champ and get away with it in lane, I'll do it. So that's kind okay. of the the big idea. But I guess you know, when in doubt, I guess you can pick misfortune and figure out okay, from there. Okay. But like uh, in this case, all right, uh, who has more scaling? Um. Oh, oh between Twitch, Twitch and misfortune. misfortune? Uh, no, in this game, in this game. I oh, guess. in that game, um, they have more scaling than us. Right, I'd say Lux scaling is quite good, and Kaiser scaling is quite good, and then you have Jax right, right. and kind of brand, right? right? So you know, can you get away with picking Twitch in this lane? Uh, I would say so. You know, why not? Yeah, so yeah, I would yeah, pick definitely. Twitch. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, honestly, it's more about uh, picking for lane, though. I think is the biggest idea, right? Uh, uh, if the lane is too high, like this Varus Pike, uh, picking Twitch could be problematic. I think. Yeah. Right. Um, or 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 Lucian or Lucian uh, Fiddle. I probably would not pick Twitch there, right? Uh, but against Ezreal yeah. Nami, I'll pick Twitch, which is what you did, right? Right, right. Um, or Jinx Jinx splits. You probably pick Twitch. So right, uh, right. that's that's my idea behind behind uh, my picks is can you win lane? Okay, okay. Right. 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 Now um, let's see. Here here's a Twitch question. Um, what do you, how do you yeah, feel about uh, Blade of the Ruin King versus Stormraiser first item? Uh, I never get Stormraiser. Fuck that item. It is not is not is not very good on Twitch in my opinion. I tried it like twice right. and I was like, this is the worst. So uh, I just get Blade of the Ruin King or I just skip. I just go Runons. Honestly, I've been going Blade and I think it's it's been doing fine. But yeah, I pretty much never get Stormraiser, especially after it got nerfed. Right? There's just no point. Right, right. If I didn't like it before, I'm definitely not liking it now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been yeah, I've been kind, kind of, of transitioning kind of more to just more building Bork. Right. Me too. Me too. That's nice. nice. All right. Um, let's see what else. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, right. So uh, the guy I do it with plays a lot of Rakan and Brom and a little mm -hmm. bit of Blitz. Um, any anything specifically that might help me in terms of like laning or you know interacting with those champions with so, either misfortune or twitch? It's getting kind of. Or is that? It's true that I think that it's more it's more advanced, but we can we can we can go over it. So stuff like uh, blitzcrank, right? Um, right, right. Where, uh, when is blitzcrank most effective? When the lane is pushed towards you, when it's in the middle, or when it's pushing towards them? When it's pushing towards them. Mm, I'll say it's not as effective as one of the other options. Oh, when it's in the middle. Right, when it's in the middle. So then it's your job to figure out, okay, how can we make the wave in the middle all the time so that you can get these free right. hooks all the time, right? So that'd be that'd be an idea, right? Or let's say you want Blitz to roam, you shove it in and Blitz can roam, right? Right. right. So you can enable your support that way. Uh, that's kind of like the idea behind uh, how do you play with these champs? And of course, you know, if you're playing with Blitz, you do anything other than wait for a hook, you're losing, right? <laughs> So definitely, it's all about matchup. 
Right, right. right. Let's see your point with Braum. What is what is Braum in terms of our our lain categories? So there is uh, catch. To all in. Okay, true. Or he gets what to else? Catch as well. All right, skill shot CC is catch. So right, yes, right. catch and all in. So you do anything besides that, you're losing. So you try and trade, that's losing, right? Right. Uh, I mean, if you're misfortune, you can poke. Okay, you can poke, right? But uh, right. you definitely know trading is losing. So any if we watch this replay and you try to trade with Varys, that's how we know. You know, that's a that's a matchup idea, right? Right. Um, right. So it seems like he likes to play a lot of catch supports. So you let him go first. Okay. Otherwise, it's losing, right? Because uh, what happens when you go first and then an all-in breaks out and they flash his hook? It was impossible for him to land yeah, it, right? Yeah, we lose immediately. Yeah. yeah, you've seen that one before. I've seen that one before. It's yeah. literally impossible for them because uh, uh, flash is guaranteed to dodge the hook, essentially, right, right? right? Which is why catch has to go first. So. Okay. Okay. All right. And, well, um... Let's see. Let's see. I, th I think that's I think all of them. All, all right. Nice. So I guess as a uh, as a uh, uh, quick review, I think the big ideas you want to work on are um, lane matchups, right? So the f mm -hmm. so to work on lane matchup, basically, uh, you go into game, and during like champ select or loading screen or whatever, you say, "How does this play out?" You categorize the supports and play play like that. For like 10 20 30 games like this is like this is the habit you go in you say this is catch versus catch whoever lands their shit is winning right okay. or this is catch versus trade we do not want to trade under no circumstances right under any circumstances do not trade right um that kind of stuff uh and you go into game with that idea in mind right, right. and then if you can lane like that for like 10 games in a row you know you're really good at it compared to everyone else right um and then the second is uh when you're uh I would say the second is in the mid game, you need to focus on pushing waves first. Okay, I want you okay. to be obsessed with pushing and clearing waves. Okay, if you got, if a team's about to fight and you gotta push a wave, you spam ping your team back and you push that wave. Okay, you gotta, this is like, this is like the, I think this is a habit you need to um, develop for the mid game to prevent all these other weird things from happening. Right? Okay. And then the third thing I would say, it didn't come up as often, but it is important, is that, um, when you want to join fights or help fights or call an objective, you need to count how many people are there. Okay. And that'll tell you whether or not you can actually do it, right? Because um, I think sometimes we opted into a lot of 4v5s and then it was impossible for you to win, right? Right. right. So um, don't, like, don't do something you know doesn't work 9 times out of 10. So that's the idea. I think those three things are the, the big three ideas you could work on. You can do something like, oh, uh, work on lane for like the first 10 minutes and then work on wave management for mid game. You do that for like forever, essentially. <laughs> and then right. uh, you'll get much better at it um, the more you work on it, right? But you have, to, you have to like go into game thinking about it in order to improve on it. So that's what I would say um, I would work on if I were you. Okay. okay. Sounds good? Yeah, definitely. All right, cool, cool, cool. If you do have any other questions, feel free to message me on Discord. Uh, otherwise, right, I'll uh, upload the recording of this uh, session and send you the link. So, all right, all right. sound Excellent. good, sound good. All right, thank you very much. No problem, no problem. Good luck in your games, man. Thank you. Thank you. you as well. See ya.